Hey, good evening, Valley Middle. Time to spend some time looking at percentages as decimals. Before we do that, let's get started with something fun. What was Alexander the Great's coffin filled with? There's good old Alex right there. Him and I were, go way back. Uh, we'll get back to that. Today, officially, our target is 4.7a. I can write percentages as decimals. Let's do this thing. 94% uh, of the students in math class were able to find Waldo on the page within one minute. Express this percentage as a decimal. 94%. Well, as a decimal, that's .94. How'd you do? Did you get that one right? Let's take a look at some uh, must-know words. First of all, just a quick review. Percentages, that's the specified number out of 100. So. 94%, that's 94 out of 100, or 94 out of every 100 people, or whatever. A decimal, then, is a fraction whose denominator is a multiple of 10, and whose numerator is represented by digits. Take a look at the fraction 1 tenth is 0 0.1. The fraction 12 one hundredths is 0.12. And, of course, 122 one thousandths is 0.122. All right, a couple other ones here. 27%. 0 0.27, 71%, 0 0.71, 90%, 0.9, or if you want, 0 0.90. Could it really be this easy? It's pretty easy. Just a couple little tricks I'm going to go over with you. All right, basically, there's two easy steps. Let's take a look at 72%. Step number one, remove the percent sign. Now you just got 77. Step number two is you move the decimal two spots to the left. Two spots. Now, what you're actually doing here is dividing by 100 when you do this. Now, remember that even though 77 doesn't have a decimal point here, 77 is a whole number, so that's where the decimal would go. So we move it two spots, and we get 0 0.72. 72%, 0 0.72. Got it? All right, let's take a look at another example. 9%, a little quirky. Step number one, remove the decimals or the percent sign. We just got plain old nine. Now move the decimal two spots to the left. This is where it gets a little tricky. So we need to put a placeholder in there, so we add the zero. So actually, you get 0 0.09. And that makes sense when you think about that as a decimal. That's nine hundredths. This is nine percent. Nine out of a hundred, correct? Nice. I knew you'd follow along with me on that one. All right, one more example before I have you try some on your own. 12.5%. Now, this is a little quirky, too, because we've got a decimal and a percent sign. Same thing. Step one, remove the percent sign. Now you just have 12.5. Step two, move the decimal two spots to the left. Look at your answer. 0.125. It's just that easy. So, yeah, you can do this. You can do this thing. All right, try these three examples. We'll go ahead and pause the screen. All right, let's see how you did. Here's step one for all of them. 33% becomes 33, 62.5, and 7. On step two, move the decimal two spots to the left. Notice that we're going to need a placeholder here, aren't we? You got it, ace. And there are your answers. 0 0.33, 0 0.625. 0 0.07. You are ready for the ticket to the show. All right, here it is. Express these percentages as decimals. 17% and 40%. You ready for the answer to the trivia question? All right. What was Alexander the Great's coffin filled with? Ta-da! Beeswax and honey to preserve his body. And boy, let me tell you, that was a sweet deal. Oh, get it? Uh, whatever. All right, thanks for listening. See you tomorrow in class.